Meanwhile, business is fighting back. The company that makes Bucky Balls launching the Save Our Balls campaign. Interesting name there. Following action from the government to stop sales of their product, the Consumer Product Safety Commission is asking retailers to stop selling the high powered magnets. Why? Because of the risk of young children accidentally swallowing them. But Bucky Balls aren't made for kids. The company says it's being unfairly targeted, and the complaint threatens to put them out of business. With me now is Craig Zucker, the CEO of Maxfield and Overton, the company behind Bucky Balls. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, me. Melissa, appreciate it. So, you feel like you're sort of unfairly under fire from the Consumer Protection Safety uh, Consumer mission, Product Safety whatever. Commission. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the CPSC, we've been working cooperatively, uh, cooperatively for about uh, two years now. Um, we've developed a safety approved, they've uh, endorsed. Um, it's a product marketed exclusively for adults, intended for adults. It's labeled in five different places for adults. Uh, and, now the, and now the CPSC is saying that our safety program isn't good enough. And there's nothing we can do that can uh, make this product safe enough to keep it out of the hands of children. So you have, I'm looking at the package, and it, yes. it's on the package in a million different places There's here. Five keep different it away ones. from your nose and your mouth and, and whatever. And you're not marketing this to anyone who is under 14 years old. These are obviously, I don't know if you can see here, these are, you know, tiny little magnetic balls. You pull them apart, you know, somebody could definitely swallow and, and choke on these. I, you know, I, I don't like government intervening and sure. driving you out of business. At the same time, I do have two-year-old child, when you read the reports of what's happened to the kids, sure. you know, a three-year-old swallowing these, and it's perforating the tissue of, of her organs, sure. of the child's organs, because they are magnetic and they're sort of tearing through the intestines there. Is there something you could do to make it safer and still have it be a good toy? Um, well, first of all, it's not a toy for children. Okay. It is intended for adults. Um, secondly, uh, I mean, even one injury is too many, and, and we know that. We, we, we hate hearing when children get a hold of our products. but. I think when it comes to product safety, there's, there's three different parties that are responsible. And so you have the government, and you have manufacturers, and you have consumers. And all three need to work together to protect children and to protect consumers. The government creates different regulations that are reasonable. Mm -hmm. Manufacturers then educate consumers about those. But it is the responsibility of consumers to follow, those, to follow the instructions, follow the warnings. And in this case, as we say in five different places, keep away from all children. Right. And so we, we, we have a vigorous safety program that not just is the product labeled not for children. We don't sell to toy stores. Uh, we, have a mag we have a safety site called magnetsafety.com. Um, and we have put out, along with CPSC, multiple messages and multiple campaigns. Saying this is not a toy. This is an adult product. Keep this Do away from children. Anything else? If they tell Amazon and everyone else to yeah. stop sending No, they put us, us out of business. They totally put you out well, of business. Well, we, we have, have any an other ideas? Because this is a good one. Right. This has been but great. This is, this is you know. We've sold millions of units in three years. We have another product called Bucky Cubes. Okay. Um, Bucky Cubes has had zero incidents of swallowing, and yet the CPSC has also told us that should be banned and taken off the market. So it seems we're being, we're being treated unfairly. Um, we, we have, I have a full staff in New York. We have sales reps. We have 5,000 retailers. And the economic impact of taking this product off the market and putting us out of business is it's substantial. How many jobs? We're in 5,000 retail stores. Most would tell you it's in there. It's either the Are most important. Toy stores or what no, kind of stores no, sell no. it? It's high-end gift shops. It's stationery stores. It's museum stores. It's it's not toy stores. Um, it, it's places where finding a product like this, an impulse yeah. buy for thirty dollars, is it, it's a big deal for them. It pays their rent. It yeah. pays their employees. It's a tough issue because you know, as I said, I have kids, so it makes me nervous. At the same time, it's my responsibility to say, stay away from these There's things. There's lots of products You're out there. You're not marketing it to yep. kids, and now they're putting you out of business. Lots of products out there that are intended for adults, not for kids. And yeah. you know, CPSC has said warnings are sufficient. Yeah. And in this case, for some reason, uh, a product marketed to adults. I mean, take balloons. What has been like Amazon's response and the and the the different stores that they've tried to pressure into not selling it? What's been their response? Um, well, two things have happened. CPSC has clearly intimidated uh, retailers out of, from, to take the product off the market without giving us our due process at day in court. And they have. And a lot of them have, because most times when CPSC does say recall product, you yeah. know, companies do it. Um, but I think the second thing that's happened is consumers and people online have come to us in massive... Demanded their buckyballs, this weird mound it's of just, balls that this, stuck this, together this, that I don't get why, but it sells, so... The, I, the support I, online has been amazing. Our website's been amazing. I ask people, you know, visit getbuckyballs.com or saveourballs.net.
uh, you know. Okay, we got to go. We're coming Thanks up against a, a commercial. Thank you for coming. Appreciate on. it. Okay. It's a compelling story. All right, here's our question of the day: Should the government stop a company from selling a product if consumers ignore the warning label? It's all over there. Two sides to every issue. Tell me what you think. From all of your responses so far, it seems like an overwhelming consensus is no, let us be adults and make up our own minds. We want to hear what the rest of you think. You can like us on Facebook, mm -hmm. facebook.com slash Melissa Francis Fox, or follow me on Twitter at Melissa A. Francis. All right, from Olympic Games to Hunger Games, how Visa has left tens of thousands of Olympic fans starving at one stadium. We've got details on that next. Plus, it's been anything but a golden performance by the U.S. men's Olympic swim team so far. And and one member of China's female squad is rubbing some serious salt in their wound. We're going to explain that coming up. You can never have too much money, so come right back. Awesome.